how to drop ship from Alibaba to Shopify step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be doing a quick look at how you can get started with drop shipping from Alibaba to your Shopify store. So a lot of people are looking for cheap suppliers with a good networking system where they're able to provide products to your customers at a reasonable time. And a lot of people go to Alibaba for this. Now, one thing to keep in mind whenever you are setting up Alibaba is that there are two different platforms. If you just go onto Google Chrome and search for Alibaba like this, First off, you're just going to see the Alibaba.com manufacturer directory, but you actually want to search for Alibaba dropshipping. And once you search for Alibaba dropshipping, you're going to be headed over to dropshipping.alibaba.com. Now, this is specifically meant for people that are looking to establish their dropshipping store and that are looking to get their products uh, shipped to their customers directly. It operates pretty differently as compared to products that you would, you know, import, put in your own warehouse, and then ship them yourself. This works differently. So to get started with Alibaba, all you have to do is just click on sign in on the top right over here. Once you click on sign in, you can choose your social media platforms as well. And you can also log in or create your account with your email address. So we're just going to proceed over here with our Google account, but you can just fill in your uh, pre-existing email address and we will be logged on to Alibaba dropshipping. And once you see your Alibaba dropshipping has logged in, you will see a navigation panel on the left. On the top right, you will have all of your featured partners, getting started, basic notifications, then your account settings and your language. Now, moving on to the left side, you have a very basic uh, navigation panel, which includes your import list, product orders, suppliers, as well as, uh, you know, your store and your basic settings. So first off, you have your basic settings in that you can uh, choose specific automatic updates for your store. So when a variant is no longer available, I want to set the quantity to zero. And when a product is no longer available, I want to unpublish the product. And then you also have some basic pricing rules that you can apply. So it could be cost, which is going to be the cost that you have on AliExpress, multiplied by 2.75%. So that can be your pricing rule, which you can, you know, default as uh, applied to all of the products that you import from Alibaba. A lot of people skip out on these basic functions and features and manually try to, you know, set their own pricing rules, which can take a lot of time and extra effort. So you guys can see next up you have your product. So you have your image width and height. You can choose the image sizes you want to add to your store as well as order cancellation and order uh, logistic synchronization. So I like to keep these on. Now moving on to searching for products. So to get started, first off, you want to link your Shopify store. For that, simply click on my store on the bottom left. Once you click on my store on the bottom left, you can click on add store over here, enter your Shopify store URL, and I will just go on over here. You can publish your store, obviously, but I already have a store added, but you can choose any store. You can even add other platforms as well, but to add Shopify, just copy your URL and you will have to verify from your URL as well. So you will have to go on over here, view your store like this, copy this and just paste it. And just like that, this will open up the Shopify app and it will ask you to install application like this. And then your uh, Alibaba application would be added to your store. So just like that, our new store has also been added and you have your default currency. You can change that in your Shopify store as well. Now to begin adding product, simply click on search products on the top right over here. Once you click on search products, you're going to find a very wide array of products. And this is one mistake that a lot of people seem to be making. They end up making their dropshipping sites look exactly like the sites that they're buying products off of. So you don't want a mix and match. You don't want to mix chocolate and uh, ramen noodles. That is something that looks really bad in Shopify stores. So you want to make sure that all of the products that you are launching or the price that you're adding are from a similar niche. You don't want to start off with uh, a jacket and then import a phone case and then import maybe a home cleaning device. It just doesn't fit. 
So if you do want to branch out, which I do recommend to most dropshipping uh, store creators, I do recommend that you branch out into multiple different niches. But you want to make sure you get started with a very specialized niche and then you slowly branch out to other products that when you build up anticipation and when you build up a lot of curiosity, then you build up to those other products. It's really unnatural to have multiple different, you know, super different products listed. So to get started, we're just going to go into my search product and you have multiple different categories on the left. Choose any one category that you want to get started with. So... I think I want to get started with maybe something else. So let's say I want to get started with apparel, which is probably one of the most basic categories. So I want to get started with these PCAPs, so I can click on that. And this will open up the details of that specific item. You guys can see the wholesale price that I'm going to receive. So if I order over 20,000 pieces, I get a price of only 69 cents. However, if I order 20 to 49 pieces, I get a price of $1.69 as well. So uh, it has uh, a couple of different variants. You have a lot of different color variations and you don't necessarily have to import all of those. So once I am satisfied with the overall information provided, you have all of the overviews, company profile, transactions. So you have all that information present. You can simply click on add to import list over here. I'm having some issues right now. It might be from Alibaba or it might be from the connectivity, but let's just take another product. And once you complete your import, you're going to find your products in your import list section. And from here, you can begin customizing the product information and then uploading it on onto your own Shopify store. So it really isn't as difficult as a lot of people think it is. And once you have added your product, you're going to find it in your My Product section. You guys can see we have a couple of different products added in our store. It's illustrating all the products that I've added and the pricing rules that I have. You can click on My Orders over here to see all of the uh, orders that have been placed via your Shopify store. And then on the bottom, you have My Suppliers. Now for any dropshipping store, if you're establishing it for a long term, I definitely do recommend that you get in touch with the sellers uh, directly. And once you get in touch with your sellers directly, what this allows you to do is that this allows you to actually negotiate better deals. You can get more discounts. You can also get better shipping as well as better packaging and labels as well. So make sure that once your store is uh, you know, out of the gate, once your store has launched itself, then you begin on working out some of the branding aspects of a dropshipping store because your branding is really what is going to differentiate your store from all of the other stores that have the same product. So keep that in mind whenever you are looking to build upon your Shopify store. And I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to get started with Shopify dropshipping using Alibaba dropshipping. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries regarding Shopify, Alibaba, dropshipping, or anything else, leave that in the comment section down below. I would love to help you guys out and I will catch you guys in the next video.